welcome back dear friends and students today we discuss chapter number 4 reproductive health this is the last chapter in the unit number 1 reproduction up till now we have finished reproduction in organism we have also discussed the sexual reproduction in flowering plants we have also discussed the human reproduction so main three chapters related to reproductions are over now the another chapter which relates with the reproduction it is reproductive health okay so here we have to understand what is a reproductive health or what do you mean by a reproductive health it is simple one if you want to understand this term it is a healthy reproductive system it's called as reproductive health okay when we talk about the reproductive health in common language it can be called as healthy nature of reproductive system is called as reproductive health okay so healthy means what healthy means what health okay to whom will you call healthy and to whom you call unhealthy okay what is a health how would you define this health so reproductive health in general term can be defined as it is normal structure and functions of reproduction this is considered as reproduction health okay or it is called as reproductive health but here it is we are just including normal structure and the functions means we just talk about only one aspect of reproductive system and that is the physical aspects not other aspects of are considered in this definition so that according to who the definition has been revised so what is the definition of reproductive health according to a who okay so what is a reproductive health reproductive health that means according to a who it is well being in total aspects of reproduction it is a well being in total aspects remember total aspects all the aspects of reproduction this is called as reproductive health okay in the previous definition we have just included the physical aspect total aspect means includes what it includes physical aspects it also includes mental that means emotional aspect it also includes behavioral aspects and it also includes social aspects okay a person who looks like a healthy okay physically that doesn't means the person is healthy if a person looks healthy physically means in a physics in a period if the person looks healthy that doesn't means the person is healthy the person should be healthy in all aspects or total aspects okay and what what it includes it includes physical aspect emotional aspect behavioral aspect and social aspects so according to a who what is the definition of this reproductive health it is a total well being in all the aspects of reproduction this is called as reproductive health in which aspects physical emotional behavioral and social aspect this is called as reproductive health as i have told you that person if it looks physically fit that doesn't mean it is fit because suppose you know that there are many person who are suffering from a mental disorders okay they look physically might be fit but the mental disturbances according to them they are considered as an unhealthy there are some persons who are physically fit mentally fit physically they have a good body and they have a mental health is also means they can well think also good but they have a less type of social interactions they become a shy while talking with others okay there are if they are introverts there is a less social interactions so this is called as a social health so the person should be healthy in all aspect and that is considered as health 
physical aspect mental aspect and social aspect okay here we are talking about the reproductive health means it's a total well being in all aspects of reproduction this is called as reproductive health okay here it is a necessity of a any country or the world that there should be a reproductive healthy society okay like in india we want to generate a reproductively healthy society and this is a need because if a reproductive healthy society is not there then the social hierarchy and the disturbances might going to produce okay so that may affect the adversely the country okay and that's why to generate a reproductive healthy society india has started a certain program okay and india is the first country in the world india is the first country in the world we should be proud who has started such initiatives and the programs on a country wise not a regional wise okay so india is the first country in the world who has started such a programs okay to make a society reproductive healthy such programs have been started when it was started it was started in 1951 these programs were started in 1951 and india is the first country who has started such programs at the national level not at the regional level at the national level means they have started such programs at very big level and these programs were initially called as family planning when this program was launched by india in 1951 the name of program has been given a family planning so the family planning is only limited up to a certain aspects it just include the control in the birth okay for that is only limited to a restricting the size of a family okay the number of members in the family it restrict the main aim or the goal of this program was just to control the number of population or the population in the country but now we have wider the its era and the aspects and so that's why the name of program has been changed now we are calling it as rch these programs now they are relaunched and we are now calling it as rch so what is a rch the full form of rch is reproductive and child health care program okay now this same program family planning that has been wider is aspects and relaunched at the another name what we call it as rch reproductive and child health care program okay so that is about the programs which were initiated by india to develop a reproductive healthy society so i again repeat see india is the first country in the world to initiate a program at the national level to generate a reproductively healthy society when these programs were launched these programs were launched in 1951 under the banner of family planning the main goal or main purpose of this family planning is to control the birth in the country or to restrict the size of a family and hence it helps in controlling the population okay but this has a limited aspect it just look after the controlling the number of population okay or it just control the population but now there are many aspects have been included in the re and the program has been relaunched under a new banner or under a new name and this is called as rch reproductive and child health care program okay on that it is going to be introduced okay so what are the concepts 
they are included under a reproductive and child health care program or what is the purpose of this reproductive and child health care program ok so let's discuss what's the purpose What is the purpose? You know that initially the first program was launched by India that was named under family planning. But now the new program has been launched and you know that what is the name of this? It is called as RCH with a wider aspect. And what is full form of it? Reproductive and Child Healthcare Program. Okay, this is the full form of RCH, Reproductive and Child Health Care Program. This, what is the purpose of this Reproductive and Child Health Care Program? The purpose of this program is to make aware a population regarding regarding Reproduction and its related aspects. Okay, so what is the purpose of this program? The purpose of this program is to make aware the population or the people, okay, regarding the reproduction and the reproduction related aspects. Okay, and ultimate aim is to generate the healthy society, particularly a reproductively healthy society. So, how can you make aware of people regarding the reproduction and reproduction related aspects? What the government has done, the government of India has done to make or to produce reproductive healthy society. So, the efforts which have been produced by the government of India is they advertise. They make aware of people by means of advertising. Okay, advertising by NGOs, okay, non-government agencies and the government agencies. Okay, by various means, like by means of newspaper, by means of advertisement on TV, by use of print media, by use of digital media or internet, they have started a advertising a concept. So this is a first how they make a people aware. We can also see a different types of advertisement in TV or even the newspaper which make you aware. Okay? Like on the National AIDS Day, okay, you can find an advertisement on a newspaper. What this is? This is the making of people aware regarding this disease, AIDS, a sexually transmitted disease. So such kind of information they are given or in the newspaper they are giving a importance of a breastfeeding. Okay, so what this is? This is they are making aware of people regarding the breastfeeding and they explain or make them understand the, what is the importance of a breastfeeding. So thus they make a people aware to generate this reproductive now, the another way of making the aware population regarding the reproduction and its related issue is that they, what they do, they educate population regarding the different aspects of reproduction. So, they have introduced a sex education in a school and colleges. So, the students can be given a proper information regarding a reproduction and reproduction related aspects. They prevent this population to refrain or stay away from a means and the misbelief or the uh, false belief. So the proper belief have been introduced with the means of an education. So this is an introduction of a sex education in the schools and colleges by them they are making a reproductively healthy society. 
So these are some of the way by which what they are doing. Even they are also doing a proper immunization program. Okay, in our country, there is an immunization program has been launched at the national level, which is launched under the name called Indra Dhanush, where the basic vaccines have been provided to any child at a free of cost, so the child does not suffer from any diseases. Okay, so this is the massive immunization program because it not just only talk about the reproduction, it also talks about the child healthcare program. Okay, then they will also talk about not just the reproduction, they will also talk about the care of pregnant lady. Clear? So, they also take care about the pregnant lady by providing a help in different terms, like providing a material in the term of physical way or providing the material in terms of economical way. Okay? So, they are also providing this care. They are also giving a facility for delivery of a baby by providing a network of hospitals. Okay, they will also talk about the post natal care of means after delivery, post natal care of a lady and a baby because after a delivery there is also necessity to check regarding the health of a lady as well as in a baby. So, these are some of the ways by which we make a people or population aware. Okay, we are also doing a certain kind of an exercises in which we are making the people aware regarding a sexually transmitted diseases like AIDS, syphilis, gonorrhea, these are the diseases which are the sexually transmitted diseases. We make the people, people aware regarding this STDs. We have also explained them the importance of our breastfeeding. Okay. We have already told you, we also improved the program with addition of an immunization, okay. We also tell them about regarding sexual abuse, okay. Because the sexual abuse is a means of a society, it's a very bad habit. So we explain regarding the sexual abuse or we counsel a person who are involved into a sexual abuse and if found unnecessary, they are also given a punishment. You can know that there is a one helpline. Uh, a Bayam helpline has been started by a government. That's uh, toll free number 181 has been launched by a government. So if anyone has been found involved in a sexual abuse, they can also complain on this number. Okay, there is a toll free number 181. Okay, so this is a sexual abuse. This is a toll free line specifically meant for uh, girls, ladies. Okay, we also make them learn regarding the different changes in a body occurs during adolescence. We make them learn. Okay, so what are the different reproductive organs of male and female, how they look after or uh, how they can be done or they can be maintained safe and clean and that what are the changes occurs during the adolescence okay because this is a time period in which there are high chances of development of a sexually transmitted diseases okay so these are the some concepts even what we are doing we are also statutory increasing the marriageable age in a female the marriageable age is 18 years in a male, the marriageable age is 21 years. Okay, 18 years is a marriageable age in a female, and the marriageable age in a male is a 21 year. So, in India, legally, no one can marry before this age. No girl can marry before the age of 18, no boy or no male can marry before the age of 21. Why we are doing like this? Because we are making them a mature and so that's why the chances of such kind of a disease is that is going to be reduced and they generate reproductively healthy society. So these are the different aspects what we have included 
under E and these programs are considered as RCH reproductive and child healthcare programs okay so it has a wider aspects not just we are restricting the number of population or the populations in the country but we are also look after the other aspects of reproduction and along with we have also added a child healthcare aspect in it okay we are also dealing with all kind of aspects physical aspects social aspects behavioral aspects and emotional aspects okay they are included in under a in a reproductively healthy society but the basic purpose is to control the population okay and why there is a need to control the population i will tell you some data you to remember this data because it might going to be asked in mcqs okay see population first talk about the world what is the population of our world in 1900 the world has a population approximate around 2 billion people in 1900 how many number of people are in world that is a 2 billion population in 2000 the population in the world has been increased to a 6 billion okay so this is a 100 year 1900 to a 2000 that is a 100 years in 100 years the population is approximately triple triple three times the population increased three times in this 100 years now a recent population census or calculation was done in 2011 and in 2011 it was found that the world population is 7.2 billion so merely you can say that within this 10 years approximately 10 years or 11 years the population has increased 1.2 billion in the world okay this is a scenario of the world and it suggests that the population has to be controlled why it has to be controlled that we will see later but it has to be controlled this is a world scenario okay this is the world thing now we talk about the india in india when the population census was done in 1951 1951 okay or approximately you can say that when becomes a independent at that time the population is approximately 350 million okay just the 350 million in 2000 we are able to get a population in india the population is 1 billion means 1000 million okay and in 2011 in a recent census the population has been increased to a 1.2 billion this is the population in india see in the world level to triple or increase the population three times from 2 billion to 6 billion it takes 100 years 100 but look after our here in india in 1951 only just 350 million population and in 2000 1 billion so it is again a three time 350 to 1000 million approximately three time it just take 50 years half the time than the world okay world takes 100 years to triple the population but india took just 50 years to triple the population that means in india the population is increasing at higher rate population is increasing at a higher rate in 2011 it has been increased to 1.2 billion and if you 
look after the current data now the indian population is i think more than 1.35 billion okay that means the from 7.2 billion this is the data 7.2 billion in world from this 7.2 billion 1.2 billion population is found only in india that's see how much proportion is found in india and another 1.2 billion is found in china so if you combine together india and china the population of india and the china half of the population of world they are living only in these two countries india and china so for us it is a very big challenge to reduce the population growth at a slower pace okay why it is increasing this population rate so the possible reason for this increase in the population rate is if you see in recent times there is very high uh, variety of facilities are available and the luxuries are available a good variety of uh, healthcare facilities are available and so that's why that made the life of a people or population very easy now the people are not dying many people are not dying with a lack of medicines lack of food lack of facilities lack of diagnosis of disease they are not dying because we have a facility we have a very good type of infrastructures we have a very good type of doctors and the surgeries are available or surgical instruments are available we can save our life and so that's why the death rate has been reduced okay apart from that if you see there is a decrease in infant mortality rate means the small baby okay that is produced there are very high chances that it may going to be die because of less immunity that is mortality means death now there is a reduction in infant mortality rate because it has to be taken care of very well we have implemented a program reproduction and child health care program so they are taken care of very much like in the earlier times you know that the deliver of of a lady usually takes place at a home but now we have a facility that delivery will take our place at a hospital under a supervision of our experts okay in the previous time once the delivery takes place at the home that is taken care the baby is baby and the lady both are taken care by the family members but nowadays we have a very good hospitals who take took care or who take care regarding the baby and the lady like we have separate hospitals for a child what we call as pediatric even we also have a facility of icus specifically made for such newborn what we call it as nicu neonatal intensive care unit okay so this has made a possible to reduce the death rate or of infant or infant mortality rate has been reduced okay apart from that there is also reduction in maternal mortality rate maternal means a mother while delivering many lady might going to be die okay due to a complication which arises during the delivery but now we have a sophisticated instruments and the surgeries and the healthcare facilities are available so that's why there is a reduction in both infant mortality mortality rate and maternal mortality rate so chances of death of mother and baby that have been reduced and so that's why the rate of population is increasing or that makes the life very easy okay and that so that is the reason so that's why we have a lots of people in the reproductive phase you know that the sexually reproducing organism has three phases in their life first is juvenile phase second is reproductive phase and third one is senescence phase so india has the population majority of the population they fall in the reproductive phase okay currently in india the population is rising at a rate of 2% 2% means here the population growth occurs 20 birth occurs per 1000 population per year every year for every 1000 people 20 new borns or 20 birth occurs this is the rate at which the population is growing in india so i again make you remember what is the population 
growth rate in India, the population growth rate in India is 2%. Okay, that means 20 births per 1000 population per year. Okay, so every year for every 1000 people, 20 new birth occurs. Okay, but if the population is increasing at this much rate, that produces the scarcity. Scarcity of food, scarcity of water, scarcity of land, and scarcity of other basic amenities that may going to be occur. Because we have a limited quantity of water, we have limited quantity of land, we have limited quantity of food, but when the population is increasing at this much rate, we cannot able to cope up to provide them the basic facility. So anyhow, we have to reduce this rate and we have to bring down to a one percentage. Okay, that means half of that. And for that, we have to conduct a certain programs that is called as reproductive and child healthcare programs. Okay, in that, the contraception has a most important role in controlling the population. Contraception means the method which prevents a conception. Or in common, you can say that it is a birth control methods. Okay, the methods which control the birth, they are called as birth control methods or you can also call it as contraception methods. So, what are the methods by which we can control the birth or what are the birth control method options are available and which is a best suitable option to a particular set of population that we will discuss in the next session. Okay, so anyhow, we have to control the population. So, this is a general introduction regarding a reproductive health. What is reproductive health in a general term? Reproductive health according to a WHO. Why we are conducting such programs? What is the purpose? How we conduct and what are included under it? Okay, the population is increasing in the world and India but we are comparing the population rise in India and the world level they, at, in India the population is increasing at higher rate so anyhow we have to control it otherwise we cannot able to provide the resources to everyone okay and so for that the birth control options or contraception options are available we will discuss in the next session which are the different types of birth control option or contraception methods okay till then Keep learning, keep watching. Remember students, there are few numbers during this session. You have to remember these numbers because they are important. They can be asked in examination point of view. There are one, two definitions also have been discussed. You also have to prepare through it. So look in the assignment, do assignment properly. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for watching.